In this video, we are going to continue with area enclosed by a curve and a line or by two curves. You will find this on page 336 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Find the area of the region that lies in the first quadrant and is bounded by the lines y equals x, there, the straight line, and the curve y equals x squared over 4. Okay, so let's look at this example. In this example, the exterior function will be the parabola because we work towards the y-axis. So that will be the outside. And the interior will be the straight line. So first, make x the subject of the formula. Okay, so you can just cross multiply there. Okay, then you get x squared equals 4y. And then divide, um, you take the square root. And because it's on this side, it's only the positive. Okay. Now, um, let's just see this, that this one was easy. Uh, okay, it's between 1 and 0. But y equals x is also equal to x equals y. So, if I say the exterior function, it will be this one minus the interior function, this one. There it is. Okay, then I'm going to integrate. Okay, then I integrate, I add 1, I divide by 3 over 2, I add 1, I divide by 2. And remember, I'm integrating to y now, because x is the subject of the formula. Okay, and then if I simplify this, I can just simplify, I substitute, and I get an answer 5 over 6. Okay, on this video, I'm not going to do the workout solution of number 1, but I just want to show you something about number one. I think number one is not that difficult. You, you will just draw a line there. I'm struggling to draw it accurate. Okay. Now, as soon as you found that point in A, you just solve the two equations simultaneously. Then you're going to get that that point is 2 and 4. So that is going to be 2 there. So basically, I'm going to use this curve, this one, to find the area between 2 and 0. And I'm just going to use this curve to find the area between 2 and... And now I'm just, I must just find out where it's going to... So if you want to see where this one cuts, the x-axis, you're just going to make y zero okay and if you put in the place of y zero at the end it's going to be square root eight okay and then you're just going to find it between square root eight and two and then you just add it up okay so you can first try that you can look in the teacher's guide or at the back of the book to find just the exact answers but i want you to stop the video and i want you to do number two you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Now, this one is a bit more complicated because you can work towards the x-axis. But the problem is then you must find that point, that point, that point, uh, so that you can do it like this. Okay, but, but that's going to be very complicated. So I think in this case, because it's not going to give you exact values, and, and, but you can try it. It is possible to do it towards the x-axis. But I, I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to do it towards the y-axis. And this is why this hint is very important. You must first complete the square of this function before you can make x the subject of the formula. Okay, but let's do it. Okay, now first, if I want to work towards the y-axis, I must make x the subject of the formula. Now this one is not a problem. Okay, now the is correct. It is plus minus y minus 3. But, but you will only take, because it's on this side, do you see the positive side of the x, not on this side, therefore x will only be the positive value. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay. 
Okay. So if you look at the next one, that is a bit of a problem, and this is why I was telling you. So complete the square. I just want to take another color. So y is equal to x squared minus x plus 1. Now, if you want to make x the subject of the formula, due to the fact that there's 2, I have to complete the square, almost to get it in a format where there's only one x. Now, can you still, still remember to complete the square? You, you only complete the square of this expression, not of the equation, just of this expression. So you can keep it, and I'm just going to refresh your memory. Keep, make a bracket. Say x squared minus x, leave a space because I'm going to complete the square there, plus 1. Now, the extra part that I'm going to put in is I'm taking this value, I divide it by 2 and I square it. And you can leave it positive. Due to the square, it will become positive. But you cannot just change an equation. If you were adding this, you have to also subtract it on this side or, or just later in the expression that was so basically if I'm going to complete the square this is going to be x minus a half square and if I show you this one this is going to be 1 minus a quarter and 1 minus a quarter will just be plus 3 quarters did you see I was completing the square. Now I can make x the subject of the formula because now I can say y minus that three quarters okay and now I will take it's again plus minus it's, it's correct but again it's on the positive side And then um, it's going to be x minus a half. But because it's on the positive side, can you see it's on this side, not on that side? I'm going to say, therefore, x is, if you take that one over, leave x there, then it's going to be a half, and it's only the positive part y minus 3 quarters and I think it's actually best especially for integration that you write it like this the same year I'll do that one now 2 half then it's going to work better in integration so this one will be okay Okay, now I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to start with the calculations. Okay. Now, if I want to find, if I want to find, now check here, I, I, I want to find this area. Do you see? So this will be my exterior, and this will be my interior. So it's always the exterior minus the interior. So to find that area, it's going to be, so this will be my exterior, and this will be my interior. So it's going to be, and what, what is the two values there? It's very easy because they gave it to you, it's six and four. And, and also, because they gave it to you on this side, it just shows you that it's actually the more easiest way to take it to the y-axis. Okay, so this is going to then be a half plus y minus 3 quarters, also to a half, but then I subtract, and what is this one? y minus To a half. Okay. And I don't forget I'm integrating to y. Okay, everything is y, so that's why I integrate to y. Okay, so if I'm going to see if something can simplify, I don't think because the bracket is different, this is a half. No, no, no. I just have to, to do it according to this method. Okay. 
So let's get, we go for integration. So if there's just a constant, it's just a y. The bracket, because it's 1, luckily it's 1, so it will be just be divided by 1. But this is going to be y minus 3 quarters. So this is 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2, so it's 3 over 2. Divide 3 over 2. Okay. Okay. Minus... I think I can just leave it like that. Minus, and this one, again it's 1, so luckily. So 1, otherwise it's 1 divided by the value in front of y. So y minus 3, and it's again the same. Plus 1, so it's 3 over 2, and I divide by 3 over 2. And it's going to be to 6 and 4. I'm just going to, to make it a bit easier here for, for that, um, that final part. So I prefer, let's multiply the reciprocal. So it's going to be 2 over 3. And will I leave it in brackets? I think we're going to leave, because it's a lot of fractions, leave it like this. y minus 3 quarters to the power of 3 over 2. Or minus, this is again going to be 2 over 3, and then y minus 3, 3 over 2, and it's going to be 6 and 4, okay? okay. Okay, now I substitute. So it's just 6 over 2 plus um, 2 over 3, um, This is going to be 6 minus 3 quarters to the power 3 over 2 minus 2 over 3, 6 minus 3, 3 over 2. Minus 4 over 2 plus 2 over 3, 4 minus 3 over 4, 3 over 2, minus 2, oh no, I have to move it still a little bit, minus 2 over 3, no, oh, sorry, 4 minus 3, 3 over 2. Okay, okay, let's take that calculator. So if we take the calculator, um, it's going to be quite a bit of fractions here. So uh, let's just see, yeah. If I'm taking the calculator, this is going to be 3. Okay, let's see. Uh, 6 minus 3 ABC4 um, equals to the power bracket um, 3 ABC2 plus the bracket equals. Oh, here, here is the commas already coming. Okay, I think the best will be just to, to just to calculate it in terms of decimals and just remember your the, the long thing there. Okay, so let's just say I'm going to do it again 6 minus 0 0.75 equals um, to the power bracket. 1.5 plus the bracket equals multiply to divide 3 equals. Okay, I'm getting, and I have to leave that, I think. Some of you especially can press it so nice on the calculator. I think it would have been better. Just press it in one step. So, um, this is, I'm just, no, 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 I don't want to go two thirds. Let's get that. So it's going to be 6 minus 3 equals to the power 1.5 close bracket equals multiply 2 equals divide 3 equals and it's 3.46410165 
I think I'm taking a little bit long. Minus, okay, this is 2 plus, let's just see, 4 minus 0 0.75 equals uh, to the power of like 1.5 multiplied to divided to the equals, and that's 3.90601. And that final one, um, it's going to be, okay, luckily it's 1, okay, it's a nice thing, not been anything to the power, it's going to stay 1, so it's just minus 2 thirds. Okay, so if I simplify this, it's 3 plus 8.01952. Zero seven four six six minus three point four six four one zero one six one five equals. I think if you just make it to four decimal, um, four signif five significant, your answer will be correct at the end. Okay, but I decided to go the long way. Please search for a shorter way. Um, especially with pressing in on your calculator. This is unnecessary this long way. 2 plus 3.90601388 minus and that is 5,2393475 if I'm subtracting that from that, and I'm getting exactly the correct answer as in the back of the book, and that will be two comma three two three significant figures units square. And that's correct to three significant figures. Okay, so please try to find a bit of smaller or just press everything on your calculator if you can do that, especially the youth of the day. They are very good on the calculators.